Well, good evening, everyone. A settlement for Barry Moss's family. The town of Evans Man was hit and killed by a driver in December of 2013, and Gabrielle Ballo settled instead of going to civil trial. Ed Riley has reaction on this case tonight. Ed. Well, Jeff, financial details of the settlement are not being released. And while former Angola bar owner Gabrielle Ballo admits it was her SUV that killed Barry Moss, Ballo did not have to admit that she was the driver. And that's why the effort to get justice for Barry Moss continues. Settling in a civil case um, has no bearing on whether or not this case could be prosecuted going forward. I just want the people to know out there that we're still investigating this. In December 2013, 52-year-old Barry Moss was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver as he walked home from a friend's house along Erie Road in Evans. A special memorial tree now planted at the spot of the fatal accident. Community support was, was really touching. Police believed from the beginning that Gabrielle Bello was responsible and people who know her are withholding holding information. Absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll take that till the day of my retirement that, that, that there's, she confided in people. Even though a DMV administrative judge revoked Ballo's license for the incident, Gabrielle Ballo was never charged because an Erie County grand jury failed to indict her. We don't feel that the um, that justice was served. You know, we feel that we were shortchanged by, by the DA's office. But Evans police continue to work on the case every week. The puzzle's getting put together and um, Right from the beginning, uh, uh, D.A. Sedita said he needs compelling evidence over than what we had. So that's what we're shooting for. And Evans Police Chief Ernest Masula was hoping now that the civil case is over, Ballo will be more cooperative. Uh, I can't believe any human being could walk away and live with this for the rest of their lives. So um, come in, talk to us, tell us what happened and let's all of us deal with it. Barry Moss's sister does not believe she will, and Maria Rafter is holding out hope that criminal prosecution for her brother's death will occur before the statute of limitations runs out. No, justice was not served, but it isn't too late. The statute of limitations expires in December 2018, and that's why the Moss family will continue to offer an $11,000 reward through Crime Stoppers for information leading to the arrest of the driver who killed Barry Moss. Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you.